Hey there guys, Nerdy Naturalist here. I'm at Higgins Point today on Lake Coeur d'Alene. And I'm here for one of the most amazing things that happens in Northern Idaho year round. Now, you can see plenty of birds probably coming through the background here. We got golden eye out on the lake. We got a few buffalo head mixed in. We got plenty of different gulls flying about. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here because here on Lake Coeur d'Alene, every winter for about two to three months, we get hundreds upon hundreds of bald eagles coming through. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna see which eagles we can spot. And in the meantime, we're gonna see why they might be here. What's so special about Lake Coeur d'Alene? The answer to that's pretty easy to find. Right here on the beach. But I'll have to show you. So, <laughs> thankfully I have a buddy here who's helping me find and dig up some of the reason the eagles are here. Good job, LJ, good find. This is a dead kokanee salmon. Oh, nope, let's not eat that. Now, kokanee salmon are a landlocked species that lives in several lakes around here, but we have a very large population in Lake Coeur d'Alene. Now, unlike most salmon, they don't go to the ocean every year. They can't go to the ocean to get into their mature phase. So instead, they spawn here in the shallow areas where there's lots of rocky bottom without too much loose silt that can squish their eggs. So these rocky bottomed shallow areas create large breeding grounds for kokanee salmon. After they hatch, they swim deep, deep into the lake, way out there. And they live deep in the lake throughout most of the year where a lot of predator, a lot of their predators can't get. They have a few year life cycle where they mature just like a normal salmon you would find in the ocean. But once they're mature, instead of going downstream, they swim back to these shallow spaces here. And much like the salmon you find in the ocean, this journey exhausts them so much. The energy expent through breeding exhausts them so much that they wind up dying afterwards. And so you'll find plenty of dead kokanee salmon all over the beach. And the eagles will eat a few of those, but mostly those are eaten by predators like raccoons, otters, even bears that you'll have come down at night down to these beaches. The eagles are far more interested in the kokanee that are in the process of dying that float close to the surface out here in the water. Those slow moving dying kokanee salmon are easy prey for our bald eagles. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna head down the way to that little peninsula there and we're gonna see how many eagles we can find. There's one flying above it, and that's usually a hint that we've got a few more. Okay, so I've got about two that have flown over me a couple of times. We're gonna see if we can catch them on camera right now. Here we come. Take a look, and... Oh, where'd you go, buddy? Oh, it looks like they're flying away from us. So I'm gonna just slowly walk along this trail here. I see we're very close to the lake. We're on that little peninsula now, Higgins Point.
Now, this terrain is just absolutely beautiful. But I will admit, it's pretty slick this time of year, so you want to be very careful. Walk, walk delicately. So I stopped here, not because I saw eagles, but because you can see a lot of evidence of them here. You can tell that this is a tree that they're using because there's so many kokanee remains on the ground. Did you hear that? There it is. There we go. Okay, so there's an eagle coming around. Here we go, here we go. Oh, there's two of them right there. Okay, yeah, all right. So these are immature bald eagles. <sighs> Probably not more than maybe three or four years old. They are still mostly brown. They don't have that white head yet. Um, a lot of people would look at them, they would say, oh, it's a golden eagle, because golden eagles are that brownish color, but you wouldn't find golden eagles in this habitat. And those bald eagles have a much chunkier, almost hatchet-like bill. Golden eagle's got a smaller, uh, almost hawk-like head. Um, oh, come on back. Oh, here we go, here we go. So he's landing in that tree over there. Okay. So, oh, there's about three of them just landed in a tree up here. I'm going to see if I can get a good view at it. Okay. Walk carefully because it's slick. And no view is worth a broken neck. <laughs> I can't really get a good view from here. up in that tree up there. So let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. You see them there? Oh man, that's a good view. Look at all three of them there. There's two adults, which means they're five years or older, and then one juvenile. Now we're always happy when we see juveniles in a habitat because that means that they are successfully breeding. And that's really good to know that there's a lot of young, there's a lot of young animals being born every year. And that's one of the great things about, you know, here on Lake Coeur d'Alene, we see a lot of juvenile bald eagles each year. This year we've had a couple hundred eagles and about 25% of them have been juveniles. So really good to see these guys as you can see there they are oh there goes one right now oh he's coming right above us ah! oh man that was absolutely magnificent I need to zoom out <laughs> that's absolutely magnificent to see them so active I don't know if you guys heard them I'll make sure to try and enhance the sound and if uh it wasn't able to hear, I'll try and get an audio clip with my mic later and then attach that to the back of this video so you can hear what those eagles sound like because it's very different than what most movies will tell you. It's very, very flute, flute-like. It's very musical. And I just love the sound of these bald eagles. But I think we'll wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please uh, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Share with your friends these videos, but more importantly, share with your friends the outdoors. Take them outside, get them exploring, get out there, because man, we just have so much beautiful land at our disposal. And the more we use it, the more we show that we're using it, the more protection is going to go into it. So thank you very much, guys. This has been David Yake, your nerdy naturalist. And get outside. Bye-bye.